Our star today is an animal that looks like a mix between a guinea pig and a marmot, but is, believe it or not, most closely related to elephants. Yes, you heard that right. Elephants! Hyraxes are small furry mammals, usually about the size of a rabbit, weighing between 4 to 11 pounds. Their round bodies and short legs make them look like they're always in a rush, though they actually move with a nervous little scuttle. Despite their diminutive size, they have big personalities. They live in colonies, and you can often find them sunbathing on rocks, probably pondering life's big questions like, why am I related to an elephant? <coughs> Speaking of relatives, the Hyrax's closest living relatives are elephants and manatees. This revelation might make you do a double take, but the connection is all in the teeth and toes. Hyraxes have tusk-like incisors and toe bones similar to elephants. Picture a tiny elephant in a fur coat, minus the trunk and the ability to trample you. In evolutionary terms, these shared characteristics link back to a common ancestor that lived around 50 million years ago. Hyraxes are native to Africa and the Middle East. They've adapted to a variety of habitats, from dense rainforests to arid deserts, but they're most commonly found in rocky terrains. Their adept climbing skills come in handy here, as they can scale cliffs with the grace of a seasoned rock climber. Hyraxes have a relatively long gestation period for their size, lasting about seven to eight months. Females typically give birth to two or three young, which are surprisingly well-developed at birth. Newborn Hyraxes have open eyes, fully functional limbs, and a full coat of fur, making them ready to face the world almost immediately. They reach maturity at around 16 to 17 months and can live up to 12 years in the wild. These little critters are herbivores and aren't too picky about their menu. They'll munch on leaves, bark, fruits, and grasses. However, their multi-chambered stomachs require them to eat a lot to get the necessary nutrients. Interestingly, hyraxes have a unique digestive system that includes a long cecum and a series of microbial fermenters, similar to those found in ruminants like cows. This helps them break down tough plant materials efficiently. You could say they have a bit of a grazing problem. Hyraxes are social animals and live in colonies ranging from a few individuals to over 50. They communicate through a series of grunts, whistles, and even songs. Yes, Hyraxes sing! Imagine a tiny choir of fluffy creatures serenading you from the rocks. It's like a Disney movie come to life. Their vocalizations serve various purposes from marking territory to signaling danger. Each colony has a dominant male who takes on the responsibility of leading and protecting the group, a bit like a furry pint-sized king. Apart from vocalizations, hyraxes also communicate through body language. For instance, a raised tail can signal alertness or aggression. They also engage in mutual grooming, which helps strengthen social bonds within the colony. In the wild, hyraxes have to be on constant lookout for predators like eagles, leopards, and snakes. They've developed a nifty survival tactic, the sentry system. One or more hyraxes keep watch while the others graze or sunbathe. If danger is spotted, the sentries sound the alarm, and everyone scuttles to safety. Think of it as a neighborhood watch program but with more fur. Hyraxes have a peculiar habit of using communal latrines, also known as shared sanitation facilities, are areas where multiple individuals, often from the same community or group, defecate and urinate. Their droppings, known as middens, have been found to fossilize over thousands of years. These middens provide valuable information to scientists studying climate change and vegetation patterns. Who knew Hyrax poop could be so important? By analyzing these ancient deposits, researchers can reconstruct historical climates and ecosystems, offering insights into how environments have changed over millennia. Hyraxes are known for their love of sunbathing. They bask in the sun to regulate their body temperature as they don't have efficient internal temperature control mechanisms. 
This behavior not only helps them stay warm, but also makes them look adorably relaxed. Additionally, they have specialized scent glands on their backs, which they use to mark territory and communicate with other hyraxes. These glands release a sticky, musky substance that's unique to each individual, acting like a personal signature. While hyraxes are not currently endangered, some species are experiencing habitat loss due to human activities. Conservation efforts focus on protecting their natural habitats and ensuring that these delightful creatures continue to thrive. So when you're considering the giants of the animal kingdom, don't forget about the hyrax. These small creatures may not have the majesty of elephants or the elegance of manatees, but they carve out their own niche in the world of intriguing wildlife. They may be small, but their story is as grand as any in the animal kingdom. If you enjoyed this video about hyraxes, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing wildlife content. Leave a comment below if there's another animal you'd like me to cover next or if you have any fun facts about hyraxes to share. Until next time, stay curious, and I'll see you on the next adventure.